Okay. Happy camper right here. I don't need more coffee. I need some vodka or some gin or 50 beers or just to break a glass upside my head or something. Okay, so for the moment, for the moment, we're good. I dropped the bitrate too to try and duck under the problem. Um, I normally get five megabits, and for the first couple months of streaming on Twitch, I uh, I streamed at half that. Did somebody say beer? And I don't usually get dropped frames. I've recently upped the bitrate to around 3,300, which has made the the streams for action games look better. So I dropped it again here tonight, just for a little bit. Let me check that out, let me, uh... Just a Cookie Monster cocktail, thank you. I need it. I need it. So anyways, John, oh, I have to look over here and check some numbers to know that the stream isn't working. So if it does start flaking out, just let me know. You will probably know it before I do. And if it happens, I need to know. That is... So damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Yep. That's what it was doing. Hey, Catherine! How goes? How are you doing? How's Adam doing? Glad to have you here. I don't know if you were around when the stream dropped, but I've had some stream troubles tonight that I'm very grumpy about. Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Kate, just want you to know you're on our thoughts. Did it say on? Praying for fast recovery, Kate. Um, was great. Trying to get back there. Trying to get back there. Yeah, it's kind of like Troy says. Just a little grumpy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little grumpy. Um, a little grumpy because my internet took the stream down. We were just getting started, and uh, everyone was everyone was happy and here, and we were talking and starting to play, and then <laughs> I see Microsoft let me back on. Welcome back, Shamrock Mike. Yeah, my ISP seems to have stabilized. Their new fiber backbone can't come soon enough. Sorry, it's so hot there, Catherine. So I think this is the building where Kate, uh, this is the building Kate tried to jump off of. Yeah, right up there. I'm pretty sure that's where Kate was, was trying to jump yesterday. Now, Bench, we're probably supposed to wait for Chloe, but I hear someone talking. Let's see if we can find him. Principal ah. Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What? What does he mean? The principal says, no one can expel me. Dr. P. Dr. P in the house. What's going on? Um, it is going... Blackwell almost lost another student. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Principal, get plowed. Cheers. This guy. This guy. Uh, Dr. P, I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? Um, I was doing great, and then the stream crashed because of my ISP. So I'm a little bummed out, but my ISP seems to be settling back in. 
Dalton Han, I played one of the best Bioshocks. Which one? Which one did you like? Which is one of the best for you? Max, so Chloe's waiting for us. Get that ass in gear now. Meet me in front of campus. I also have a text from Warren and a text from Mom. Text from Warren. Yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer, cool? And you totally earned dinner on me, along with our escape to a planet of oips. Call me. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Especially since I got Mr. Jefferson kicked out of his own contest. Whoops. I'll call you later, Kay. And a text from Mom. Um, r r r r Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl, and we want you to know... We want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Yeah, Warren is kind of stuck in the friend zone. So Principal Douchebag over here, I don't know what his deal is, why he's out on the porch. Apparently, he just wishes Kate would leave. It's Kate is too much trouble for him. That's a uh, classy guy. Classy guy. I feel so giddy. Even after Kate almost jumped. Yeah, the numbers look okay now. Hopefully they Maybe stay that way. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Welcome back, everyone. If you're getting back, I'm sorry about the troubles we're having. <sighs> say no more, say no more. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. I am guessing we're being watched. I think that's why the camera panned way up there. Probably being watched. Hmm. She might, she might. Burn it. I'm stocked. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, okay. So we're sitting there. Chloe which says we're supposed to meet her um, out front of campus. But it looks like we're going to have to go by the principal. I thought maybe she was going to meet us on the bench. I guess that's not what she meant. Um, the principal, we're not supposed to be out. We are not supposed to be out. So Principal Douchebag, who is just sitting here being quiet, is very likely to spot us. I don't think there's another way out. I don't think there's another way out. There's definitely no paths. There's a totem up there. Uh, I guess we could try briefly. Let's try briefly going this way. But I think we're going to get rejected. And we're going to have to walk by Principal Douchebag and find out if we oh, can... The most magical insects. Burn bright. Find out if we can Maybe Samuel should get fix out. that lamp. Fireflies! Look, fireflies! Look, Joel, fireflies! Real ones! The aliens are always watching, Prestige. They are always watching. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Tabanga, Tabanga, Tabanga. What's the jail called in Natural Born Killers? Because that's what I was thinking of. Uh, I think... Is it Topanga? What is, what's the name of the jail in, uh, in Natural Born Killers? When the riot breaks out and Robert Downey Jr. is still broadcasting from inside. 
At one point, that's, that's basically what he says. It's Tabanga, 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 but it's the name of the jail. Whatever that is, it's it's kind of like that. All right, Principal, what's up? He's going to see us, but if we just go talk to him, screw it. Let's just, we'll right into the lion's den. Oh, really? We're going to play, we're going to sneak? Max, if you want to sneak, I will, we'll, we'll go all, uh, we'll go all Metal Gear Solid here. Sneak, Max, sneak. I was going to go talk to him. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump I today. But you give us a break under the circumstances, I just guy. some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe save Blackwell. <laughs> now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? We have to cause some sort of distraction is my first thought. Get him off the porch. Um, I mean, even if I rewound, I didn't necessarily see an option. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Oh, that's interesting. Rachel's the missing girl. Rachel's the missing girl. Uh, Chloe. By the way, Chloe owes money to Skeevy Dude. Frank is his name, right? She owes about three grand to Frank. Uh, yep. That is the douche principal prestige, that is. Don't you tell me. Yeah, we're back. We're back for now. It seems solid. Thank you, TDS Telecom, for the downtime. And, uh, booting everyone out of the stream. Thank you, ISP. Thank you. No, Alter, uh, Altermore, still no frames drop in. Thank you for letting me know, though. I do need to know if the stream starts flaking again, but we've got no drop frames, so we should be okay. That's probably just normal Twitch stuff. But this is interesting that someone has written on the tree, Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Because Chloe owes money. Chloe owes money. I wonder if Frank wrote that. Why does Chloe owe money? I think it was for car repairs. She's trying to get out of town. There was a bill for about $3,000 for car repairs in her house. And her family has no, has no money right now. Her real dad died. Her stepdad is the security guard here at school. Her mother works at the local diner and has been there for a long time. Their bills are not paid. Oh no, is Metal Gear Solid tied with it? Assassin's Creed. Yeah, we'll have to see if uh, we'll have to see if we can fix that. I just got a text, I think, from Chloe. Oh my God! Last night we read the journal. I read the journal before signing off last night. And uh, let's see. It looks like we've been given a whole ton of pages. We've we've got like eight more spread pages to read. Let's come right back to that in a second. Uh, we just got a text message, I think, from Chloe. Let's check it out. She's waiting for us. Max, hello? Why can't I answer her? Can't I just send a text back and be like, I'm stuck. I can't get out. The principal's in the way. Fireflies. Dude, principal, what the hell? Prescott Dormitory, and yeah, Nathan's family actually paid for this dormitory, basically. Nice. Yeah, that was a heck of a glitch in Tomb Raider. All right, let's 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 read the journal, and then we'll figure out what to do with the principal. I think this is... Yeah, I think this is the one, the first one we didn't read. Oh, and we got our objective there. I need to find a way to avoid the principal. The okay. Story time, story time. So get me back in the mood. Speaking of expectations, David Madsen stopped to talk to me without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little, and for the first time I felt kind of sorry for David. He is a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. 
He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me. But all the shit he's pulled and treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it hard to get along. But I promise to try for world peace. Yeah, that was actually the feeling I got that maybe David isn't um, isn't all the bad he, he appeared at first. Yeah, there's a lot of reading prestige. Settle in. Get your blankets, get your tea. Something odd happened. As if everything happening isn't bizarro. But I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson, and she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, Oh, by the way, what's up with Kate? Like he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something. So what did he say to make her so upset? Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal. Asshole bookends. Yeah, it was that conversation that Kate had with Jefferson that we didn't hear but saw Kate crying and leaving. That's why I brought up Jefferson at the end of episode two. You literally have your blanket. Nice, Prestige. Yeah, Shamrock Mike, I don't know if you're serious or not, but uh, yeah, there's, you saw, lots of story time. If you doze off, that's okay. Not my goal, but we're definitely reading all of this stuff. Some of my favorite stuff in the game so far. Kate Marsh almost killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her, like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I actually saw her jump. I saw her actually jump, but I was just about able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. It did, it froze. I made it to the roof, but again, my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk someone out of suicide. That's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. I covered everything I could, and Kate almost jumped anyway. Cliché or not, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't all show it now. Lo and behold, Kate stepped back from the ledge, alive. I almost cried in her arms. I know this isn't about me, though I have to admit it was an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the roof to outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, Give it up for Max! And everybody started to clap and cheer. Talk about surreal. The people who ignored me or treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. That might be the strangest thing that's happened to me this insane week. And that made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get in her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempt. Such cruel bullshit. Though, to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared. Probably a good thing. After all that, I still had to talk to the police and give a statement. Felt so weird to do since I've seen it in pretty much every police procedural show. I had to lie my ass off when he questioned me about the other students. Because I just don't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, this looks like a job for Supermax. Right. Though, of course, I do love it when Chloe calls me that. Even if I don't feel that every day heroic for helping Kate down. Maybe it's wrong for me to think that I have to feel anything, but grateful that Kate didn't jump. Hey, Zay Zay, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, just getting into episode three here. We're really at the beginning of episode three. I had some tech issues and we're just getting back up. So even though we're about two hours into my, my stream time, we're really only about 15 minutes into the episode. So you haven't missed much. What was really odd was when all the students and faculty staff surrounded me and Kate and started patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. 
I wasn't sure how to respond, considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody at school. But like I said, I can't blame everybody, and I still don't really know where to point all my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile once she realized how happy everyone was that she was alive. I smiled too. The police and paramedics swooped in, and then Kate was covered in a blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saving people without applause. But, if I'm super honest, it felt pretty cool. Like I got a hug from the whole school. So, maybe Blackwell Academy isn't totally bad. It's not enough that Kate is alive. And though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit, I still had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Douchebag. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madsen, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replaying in my head the moment when Kate stepped toward me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Still, I ended up telling the principal that I saw Kate crying after she talked with Mr. Jefferson. I wasn't trying to blame him. I just thought it was important information. Dude, that is spot on. That's exactly why we pointed it out. Uh, Max, spot on. I wasn't trying to blame him. Me, hey, I was not trying to blame him. I just thought it was important information. Maybe I fucked up, narking on the one person I respect the most at Blackwell. I could see Mr. Jefferson was disappointed in me too. The principal was more upset because he pulled Jefferson out from representing the school at the Everyday Heroes contest. I didn't expect that at all. Exactly. I'm so confused right now. How can I keep going to Mr. Jefferson's class after I ruined his reputation? How's it going, Popo? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah we're reading all these pages. We're reading all these pages. Hey, Pone. What's happening? Kaylee. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Or welcome, period. I feel like we're just getting started, but uh, the stream seems to be working okay now. So welcome, everyone. We're going to do episodes three and four tonight. If it runs late, it'll run late. And, uh, and so be it. I don't have any appointments tomorrow. We're doing the 24-hour stream tomorrow. And if I have to, I'll, I'll sleep in, catch up. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. We're finishing this tonight. Not episode five, of course. That's not out yet, so we're not really finishing the game. But uh, we are going to finish episodes three and four, and we're just getting into three. Unless my ISP craps out. You've been absolutely livid today. Well, I hope it gets better, Pone. I hope it gets better. And do I still have to give him a photo for the contest? That's a little sad. After being grilled in the principal's den, I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say, you mean you don't believe that you did? You know that you did. <laughs> I have to say, it's better to be treated like a hero at school than like a twee loser. Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims. Not to mention me, if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have let Warren know about my power. But it's not the right time, as if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark, and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? October 9th. Dear Diary, I have the power to rewind time, and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up, reading out, reaching out to rewind, or grab Kate, 
I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be. Or my dreams of being a respected, globe-hopping photographer. Or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on. So I've been playing What Would Chloe Do? Which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can find on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber, and the esteemed Prescotts. It would be too easy peasy if they were all connected, but at this point... So meta, so meta. I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geographic channel. Mystic, scientific, or apocalyptic. The Arcadia Bay tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on that roof. I'm so grateful she's alive. I love seeing the students at Blackwell show their support for her with the gifts and flowers. Finally. So that's cool that I got Mr. Jefferson in trouble and he won't be representing... Why is she saying that? So that's cool that I got Mr. Jefferson in trouble and he won't be representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. I don't blame him for what happened to Kate. Yes, he should have listened to her, but it's not fair he can't attend the event. Now the winner has to hang out with Principal Wells. I hope Victoria wins, but one of my heroes probably hates me. Yay, Max. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony like I'm gonna rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the snow, and that eclipse just hallucinations? Or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe she said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door and saw all the nice messages from other students. Too bad most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her to that roof. Everybody always cares when it's too late. At least Kate will see that people are on her side, finally. I hope I can visit her when all this blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words. Hey, Easy Raider, what's going on? How are you doing? Oh, Thank you, everyone. Thanks for dealing with the tech issues. Thanks for being here. I am very glad to have you here. I am so glad to have you here, friends. The, the company means a lot. I hope we're going to have a good time with this tonight. And I hope I don't get totally... Why does it say there's a page we haven't read? There's a star on the journal. I'm not, I'm not trying to really find a page we haven't read, but... Oh well. Don't worry about it. We'll get back there. Yeah, I had a feeling that was a uh, Raider Watt from another universe. You're drunk and happy. Back from your best friend's bachelor party. Nice. Good party? Sounds like it was a good party. Nightbot is a Turbo member. Well, that makes sense. That only makes sense. Turbo is awesome, by the way. If you don't like ads, hit up the Turbo. Hit up the Turbo. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. So that uptime is a little off. I was up for about an hour before the stream crashed because my ISP was doing things. We're trying to find a way past yeah, Principal Douchebag. There was a light out on one of the poles. I wonder if there's something we can tamper with. 
Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. I'm not too worried about the uptime. Uh, our goal tonight is to finish episodes three and four. And I'll probably have to run late to do it because of the downtime and because Ooh, I talk Samuel a lot. Samuel so into runway fashion. <laughs> Samuel's into runway fashion. Nice. Nice. I was hoping with this shed being open at night that we were going to find something. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So who does? Pone, I can't do that yet. I can't rate this game. Um, I would say that the... The text and dialogue in this game is up there. It would get a high score. Uh, the mechanics of the game, the rewind mechanic, which I know it's what the game is about, um, would get a much lower score from me, a much lower score. I'll try and let you know at some point. Maybe ask me again when we're, when we're done. So I'm not seeing anything in here. Tools, nothing in there. Some girly stuff, it says. I was hoping this shed would have... Um, Something to help us distract the principal. Get him moving. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. That's rough. Like, like a switch? Something for the lights? Something with the sprinklers again? I don't know. Not finding it. Hey, Deska, what's up? Not a mucho. How are you? Have I thought of a question? You mean a really personal question to ask you? No, Pwn, I'm sorry, I, I haven't. Um, I know you kind of want me to 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 poke you with a personal question, but um, that's it's not my inclination. Actually, I will try to, but it's not it's not coming naturally to me. Back in time, Claudia says, I guess I could I could roll back. I don't know what I would do differently if I rewound before having the principal see me. Where the fuck are you, girl? Um, but Claudia, since I know you've played this before, maybe you're uh, maybe you're giving me a little bit of a hint, and I'll take it. I'll take it. If I need to rewind, I can rewind. But um, let me poke around for another minute here before we rewind. He told us to go back inside. I keep seeing all these electrical boxes. I don't see why we can't, you know, shut the lights off. Maybe if I rewind, we can. Let's try it. Don't worry, I don't have to read the journal again. As much as I like reading the journal, I'm sure you don't want me to read the journal again. This is the fast rewind too, I'm holding both buttons. Yeah, Shamrock Mike, I read the journal. That's when you said you were getting sleepy, I was reading the journal. I want to shut off the lights or do something like that. I guess I uh, can't escape the rewind. Maybe when he's knocking on the door, I can walk by. I'm going to try walking by when he's knocking on the door, if that's an option. No, oh, he's still sitting there. What the hell, guy? Okay, really quick, really quick. I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Faster. Ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes again. Hey, we're out. Very good. So that wasn't actually any lost time because we, um, you know, I was reading the journal. That's where that time went. Yeah, it's worth doing. Raider, if you want to check it out, I've got the first uh, two episodes. They're up on YouTube already. They should be good to go. Um, are on YouTube. Yeah, Claudia, you didn't miss much at all because my stream went down for a little while. And now that we're back up. Hope we're good. Booyah! Booyah! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry. 
But you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. Ninja my head bags. felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plan. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Chaos Theory. Didn't you say that it was all about Chaos Theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, wait. I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Catherine, you had you've posted a pic of that, didn't you? I think I saw that pic. I saw that. Oh, all right. I gotta detach myself from chat a little bit because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm missing conversation bits in the game, and now I need to respond to the things I didn't hear. Got lucky with some of those yesterday. You commentate as well. Do you mean do I add extra things to my YouTube videos? Prestige, is that what you're asking? I have, um, I have not yet. I have not done anything other than just put them there. But, um, but we'll have to see. <laughs> Pone, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I think I'll leave and see if I have luck on another stream. Bye. I'm not sure what you mean, Pone, but have fun. Have fun. I'll see you later. It works. It works. Yeah, it's back up. Black man from KFC. It's finally up. Uh, I have to. I pr promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You nice. She stole keys boss, from her stepdad. Though. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at up. Trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. In it to win it. I'm so We're in it to win it. Cry. As long as you're my partner in time. Instead of grown here. Partners in crime. Partners in time. No groan necessary. That was pretty good. I'm all for that. Thank you so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, God, Victoria. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I have no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? Oh, my God, Victoria. Go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll do a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You all love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a fa your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait!